Well, today there was the exception to the rule. Normally the wind comes out of the east here in the narrows and the best takeoff is towards the east and the north. But today it was a little bit squirrely and there was a squall coming in and it was a little gut blustery and coming from the south. So after avoiding a boat and riding the wakes, we turned to the left instead of to the right, taxied out a little ways to warm up and then took off to the west, the southwest. We had to climb out here over the Wrangell Narrows and out onto Kubernoff Island over Libby Straits, which is where Wrangell um, Narrows turns from the south to the w east, and then we're going to climb out over Petersburg. We're heading up to Hobart Bay again to do a follow-up survey on the herring there. And the person might have gotten the impression from the last few videos that the weather is always beautiful here in southeast Alaska. Today is not the exception to the rule. Today is the rule. It's a little bit fuzzy out here. It's not as bad as it can get, but it's not as good as what it has been. We're climbing out here with the city of Petersburg on the left side, at the South Harbor right over the nose of the float there on the left side. The village of Kupernoff is over there across the Narrows on the left side. And, uh, you get a pretty good view of the city. Most of it is going by there. A few residential areas will be right underneath us out of view. We get out in here to Frederick Sound and it's a little bit fuzzy out here. There's a low layer. I could get underneath it but I'd be right down on the water. I'm kind of getting around it here but we're heading towards Farragut Bay. And I can't really do anything at Farragut because it's all fogged in right there. So I decided to go ahead and go over the top of it over into Port Hooton.
We come into Port Hooten here, the clears up a little bit on the north side. It's fog still hanging in right there on the shoreline, so we can't really do as good of a job of surveying as we'd like to. But we'll get down there and do the best we can. This is where we saw the fish the last flight We're coming up on Point Hobart here now where the spawn was and we can see a little bit of fish along here but there's no big masses of them and no spawn along here. It's kind of tough to see because of the water conditions and the light conditions and of course we're only about four or five hundred feet here so that doesn't do a very good job. Come around Point Hobart, I'm going to speed things up to 16 times normal speed, go through Hobart Bay, up to Wyndham Bay, and then head back to Petersburg. As we come back around Point Hobart, we'll do a little bit of circle in there to map out what few fish we did see. There was a couple of spots where there's some fish, and, and we took a double look at them to make sure. And then we we'll cross Port Hooten over towards Roberts Island. There's a spot at Roberts Island where we did a little bit of fooling around because uh, the bottom there makes it look like there might be fish there if you don't know the difference. It's a uh, white sandy bottom in a couple of spots and from a distance at low altitude it can fool you thinking there might be spawn. So we circled around there a little bit and of course that was nothing and we headed on towards Fanshawe, Cape Fanshawe. When we crossed Cape Fanshawe we did find some spawn there. Uh, on the Frederick Sound side and at first I thought it was just clam spawn but we took a double look at it and there was actually herring there and herring spawn there. Back into Frederick Sound now, and while it's still a little bit fuzzy here, it's picked up quite a bit from what it was. We actually can get underneath some of this stuff and get over into Farragut Bay to do a herring survey there. Saw a few whales and some sea lions here off of Bay Point, so we circled around them a little bit. And then we went ahead and went on into Farragut Bay. Didn't see any herring there, so we turned and headed back to Petersburg. So it wasn't near as pretty a day as the last herring flights that we've made, the uh, Ernest Sound and the ones we've made up to Hobart Bay, but all in all it really is a pretty nice day for southeast Alaska.